Hello everybody and welcome back to another Civilization 5 video. Today we'll be talking about the Great Library and how to rush it. And just to start here, I want to put a disclaimer. Um, I've realized that in the last video I was talking about the Art Temple of Artists and I said it was 104 production. Because it was it said on the page 104. But I realized that it, it varies. I think it varies on difficulty, but I'm not sure. I, I did some research, but I couldn't find nothing. But I think it varies on difficulty and speed. Speed, I'm, for, I'm certain for sure, but on the both instances, I was playing on quick, so I don't know why it would have changed. So in the last video, I said Great Library and Temple of Arms have the same production. Well, it's technically true. They both have the same production. It's just that now, instead of 104, it's 123, and I think it's because of the difficulty. So here, 123, and if I go in the technology tree, 123. So they both have the same uh, production cost, and you see the Stone Hedge has the same one too. Uh, Great Lighthouse has the same one too. Hanging Gardens is more expensive. Pyramid the same production cost. Statue of Zeus, the Zeus the same production cost. So they all have the early game wonders all have the same one. So the Great Library. It gives you one culture, also, but it, the real important part it gives you plus also tree science. And early game tree science is going to make you advance a lot more easily in the technology trees. And also an added bonus. Is that it gives you two spots of great writings for great works of writings. You also get a great science point, which is an amazing great point to get. Um, for the uh, other st bonuses you get, you're also going to get one free technology, so a strategy, and also a free library in the city where it's built. So a strategy that people use usually is try to get philosophy. So you want to unlock calendar and writing, so that then you can unlock for free philosophy. And so. When you're rushing the Great Library, you just gotta go straight like this. Usually, I wouldn't rush Great Library. I'm suggesting to everybody not to just rush Great Library for fun. I'm gonna suggest to you guys to rush Great Library when you're gonna get a free tech, the technology. So if you want to Great Rush Library, uh, you first of all, I, I would start with a scout. Just to try to get maybe like a pop, a ruin pop. Because if you get that ruin pop, you're gonna be able to work more tiles. Oh, and here you go. Another uh, a, t a quick tip here: if you have 16 out of 15, you can click on it and get the your your social policy in advance after getting a ruin. And so, the Great Library. A lot of people get trapped in it because a lot of people just rush it and hope to get it. And there's like four people that rush it in a game, and the other all the other ones get shit on. So what you want to do is yes, you want to rush Great Library, but you want to make sure you have the means to do it. So in this world, I might not. Maybe I shouldn't be rushing Great Library because I have my other competitor right south of me. He's going to be taking this before me because I'm going to be using the Great Library instead of a settler. And so maybe it's not the best option. But I do have four tiles I can cut down. And so you see I just unlocked Pottery. Instead of going for a religion, I'm going to have to focus on the worker to try to get on time for writing. And so, yeah, so uh, Great Library usually, why it's so strong is because of the extra science. So we're making six science, and this cost, this technology, costs 38. So you see how just tree science could really change the speed of your discovery? So we're just moving the turns up, waiting for our worker. You see here, we're just going to make sure everything's working the right tiles. Move up. And now, next turn. So, for one turn, you can build like a shrine. For one turn, you build a shrine. And then, um, you switch it up to Great Library Production. He who there you go. We have writing. Nice. And then you go over here. You can add Q. Great Library, 18 turns. So we're going to just finish this, uh, that tile right there. Now we're going to go for animal husbandry. Why? Because we're going to want to find, if we have um, a horse, if we have a horse that's going to add production in our city, and that's what we're looking for. We're, we're looking for extra production. So that's why I always go for animal husbandry adapter, because we're going to want to find extra production for the city. Oh, and add a ruin next to our city. There I go, some more gold, so we're just gonna... And so now, um, 
I'm just gonna uh, again upgrade this food. Oh, barbarians on our border, so I'm just gonna bring this guy back. And so this guy takes that calendar. That's nice. Why is that nice? Why is that nice? Is because you're gonna want to find out that um, you're gonna be able to get philosophy after with it. So calendar and writing is gonna give you philosophy. And so if you get calendar for free, well, that's going to free up your time to go for something else. And we're going to go for masonry. Why? Because marble gives you a bonus to building wonders. And so uh, here you want to defend your worker. Make sure you don't lose it because you're going to need it to chop down that forest. And so, well, this warrior is probably going to die. Oh, no, we can quick heal him. Uh, okay, so well, the barbarian's pillaging our land, but we, it's fine. We just cannot lose our... Uh, we cannot lose our worker. If you lose your worker, getting the great life. Holy moly. Yeah, well, we're being unlike here. Usually there isn't that many uh, barbarians. It's fine. We're still on 11. We're still on our course for our great library. It's, just, it's a lot of barbarians. Okay, we're just going to heal up our scout. we got to keep him alive. Oh, you see here? The horses. We do have horses. So let's move this over here. Bam. Like that. And then... Even better. Eight turns. You see that? We sh we're shaving out so many turns on the real library. But we're not growing. But that's... that. You're willing to... If you're doing the great library rush, you're willing to take that sacrifice. So now we're going to chop force. And don't, don't forget, it's not quick speed. So force only takes two turns to chop down. So you see already... We have, we gained some production now, we're on five turns. So we're going to do that. Uh, a thing I didn't talk about is if you really want to, you can get this autocracy, uh, aristocracy. So this is going to give you extra production for wonders. And so if you really want to get that early on to try to help on that production, that's going to help you. And so you see, I didn't even have time to connect my marble. But if you if you had the chance to, you would connect your marble because it would give you extra production towards the wonders. And so here I'm going to connect my horses because it's giving me an extra production. Oh, that's sad. I lost my warrior. Okay, so here you're just going to insta heal again. You see, in one turn now, we're going to unlock. The great uh, library. Ta da! Here we go. Great library. One free technology provides a free library in the city which is built, contains two uh, slots of great uh, works of writing. And so here you see, you want to unlock philosophy. And usually what people do is that um, they're going to be building even more. They're going to go for then uh, the national college right away. And so if you really don't care, if you see there's nothing, you still have land. You see this is, this is another civilization. If you have all this land left and you're not worried for land, go for it. But be careful. If you would have lost that great library, you would have lost so much production, your early game would have been almost crippled. I'm telling you, it would have been really bad. And so now, going for this uh, national college is a risk again. But I have that technology lead, and so I just want to build the build. And some people go even Oracle after, but I say you should just, if you want to go for that, it's fine. But make sure then you start building settlers, because if not, you're going to be way too behind, and it's just going to be bad for your uh, entire game. So now we're going to be building, just build more farms, try to help your city out. Make sure you don't lose your worker. Uh, over here. You can make an archer if you want for your secondary uh, thing, just to make sure. Because I lost my warrior. If you didn't lose your warrior, you can uh, work right away on a settler. But now we're having uh, a little trouble with barbarians on our border. They're they're they're, uh, they're pummeling us. There you go. You see, I'm keeping my wor my worker secure. And so now. You always want to look what you got. You have this. You can already improve this. I can already improve this. What am I going to settle to? I'm going to settle near next to the jungle. I already have that for removal. There's a deer here. So I'm going to go for trapping. Oh, and you see I have a pantheon. What pantheon do you think I'm going to go? Are you guys two seconds? What do you guys think you should guys go in this situation? Well, you could go either 
um, this one, Sun God, because you have two weak tiles. Or either you can go um, for the quarry one, but I think somebody already went for it. And so we're already late on religion, so it's either you give up on religion now, or you go try something with religion. But in this situation, you don't have many choices. So literally, I, I say just go for Sun God, get that extra food, get that extra science from your population. And so, you see we have another wheat over here. Oh, this is going to be close. I'm going for sailing because I wanted that extra tree to... Oh, there you go, bam. And so that's pretty much it, you see? So now I have the Great Library, I have my National College, I have 24 science per turn. My technology is all cheap. And I can build many things very fast because my production is very well built in this city. Because look, I'm, build I'm working on the tile here, I'm working on this tile here. Which is not very good, I should be working that. You see, you can, now you can delegate different places. And so now you would want to build a settler. And well, don't forget, during settler creation, you want to focus production because it doesn't matter anymore. And you see, five turns for a settler instead of like eight. So that's the Great Library Rush, everybody. And that's the Great Library in general. And so, to recap, you're going to want to make sure you cut forests, you work your production tasks, upgrade your production tasks, protect your worker, and make sure you try to get to writing as fast as possible. And make sure that you have the two technologies available for philosophy. And if you want to rush National College, you can. But make sure you have enough production. Because if it takes 16 turns, never mind. 10 turns, absolute max. Or if it's going to be too long, then you're not going to be able to settle. And you see here, they settled before us, of course. And then human players are going to settle way before us. And so here you, you're stuck for either selling here, selling over here, or selling up here. And so that's it for today's video. If you like my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please leave a like. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.